I rarely use multifocal lenses because a small percentage of people are unhappy and I don't like any unhappy patients. So this patient came to me with a multifocal implant that she was unhappy with. And fortunately it was early enough from surgery that there wasn't any significant fibrosis to trap the haptics in the bag. So we're loosening it and getting the lens, at least the first haptic, out. And you can see how I use two instruments, a spatula under and a Sinsky hook on top of the optic and just uh, pinch it like two fingers and bend it near the tip to get the end out of the anterior chamber. Then with lots of viscoelastic device under and over, I hold on to that with a Calibri forcep and one can use a more delicate scissors, but even this uh, Gills Welch scissors through a 2.2 millimeter incision, I can cut a third of this lens off holding on to the haptic outside the wound. And this is a tricky place here to make sure you're not cutting into anterior capsule. So one can lift it up so you're well above the capsule. And it's, it's very safe. Because I used a 2.2 millimeter incision, I like to cut the lens into three pieces. So there's the first third and then I'll have to rotate it around now to get the other haptic near the incision to, to pull it out and cut another third off. For this technique one certainly has to use a cohesive OVD and a highly cohesive OVD is ideal to maintain space. Now watch as I go under with a spatula and on top with the Sinsky hook and near the tip pull it out of the incision. And then holding it with a toothed forcep, I like the Calibri forcep, and cutting off another third. One has to make sure you have the, the jaws of the scissors vertical or it will twist that lens up against the cornea and down against the posterior capsule. And as we get near the end, make sure we're not cutting anterior capsule by lifting so we're above the capsule. Can't see that in three dimension like you can with the microscope. I don't like to pull both out at the same time so I'll take the scissors out first. And then just grasping Remaining part with a non-toothed forceps. We can add more OVD if we need to to put the new lens now in the bag again.
So this technique has worked very well with the instruments that I have on hand. Sometimes when the lens has been in there for many months or two years is the longest that I've been able to get one out of the bag.